another big thing is a lot of people do not actually know what GovTech is. GovTech actually is just tech in the government sector. Right. So, for example, you have a lot of these companies here. You know, you got, let me give you the big ones, Fang and Mang, Facebook, Apple, uh, Netflix, Google. Mm. Those are tech companies. Yeah. And then they have verticals like, you know, cybersecurity and software engineers. Right. We have the same thing in government. The only difference is the government work typically requires what's called a security clearance. Right. A lot of people can actually obtain security clearances. Less than 1% of Americans have security clearance, right? Okay. The average salary of somebody with a security clearance, depending on what you do well, within cyber, is at least $100,000. Okay. So let me ask you with that, because you have military service. Yep. Is it easy for, well, I won't say easy or not easy, but for a civilian, can they still get security clearance? You do not have to be in the military to get a security clearance. Okay. That's another big misconception. Also, here's the thing about security clearance, right? Just because you're in the military still does not mean because everybody everybody has to go through the same process when they mm. get a security clearance. 